Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Orlight. So, if you haven't seen my impressions video, this is a open world-ish sandbox game. I mean, open world of the fact that it's an open, procedurally generated, generated, generated world for you to explore, die, uh, collect resources, so on and so forth. And it's pretty. I like it. I, I it's very bare bones. It is very bare bones, but so far, so good. So, I could do impression stuff, and I probably will as I go along, just because there's a lot of stuff to talk about as we go along here. But ultimately, I'm going to try and focus on what I'm doing. So, first and foremost, what I am doing is getting hit by bats. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get some meat here. We don't have a whole lot of we don't have a whole lot of anything right now. In fact, we have next next to no resources, and that's generally concerning. Luckily, in this game, death doesn't seem to matter that much, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wander around and all right. It looks like this place is pretty devoid of resources, unfortunately. I'm getting like a fair amount of gold, but it seems like the starter zone is kind of meaningless in terms of like everything. So let's just grab this. Oh nope. Open up the world map. Let's go to zone one. Oh, it's a snowy world. Okay. So I find different different worlds have different resources. So in this one, we start off with... I think that was some coal? Yeah, that was some coal. Some coal and some gold. I'm glad that they have different biomes in this game. I was going to comment on that one. I wonder if the mushrooms counted as trees in the previous world. That would make sense. Either way, uh, so what I'm going to do, just strip this for resources, and then we'll pop pop into the next world. Uh, and then what I'm probably going to do is... Here, let's actually, let's actually go check something. Do these mushrooms count as wood? I'm more than willing to bet that they do, and I just never really process that one. Yep, there we go. Okay, so each mushroom is 10 wood. That is actually really useful. Uh, it's something I didn't know from the impressions video. Really wish I'd, I had figured that one out earlier. It's fairly obvious, but you know what? Whatever. Okay, so now we've got wood, which originally I thought to be a fairly rare resource, but not so much so. A little campfire e room. That's good. Uh, I'd mark it on the map. I really wish you could actually mark things on the map and leave like waypoints and stuff. Why is like 90% of this map already already uh, explored for me? That's disconcerting. Unless the character's already been through this area, that's entirely possible. Okay. So what am I doing? I am. Oh, interesting. This gener this generated in in such a way that my character can't reach it. Interesting. So this is a new world, new character, all the resources are wiped. Oh, I was actually hoping I could carry stuff with me. Oh well, it's not the end of the world, so I'm, I'm just gonna... Hmm. That's an interesting question. Is that... That's an armored polar bear. Why is that an armored polar bear? It's called a snow bear. It has a lot of health, from what I can tell. Oh yeah, this is... I'm not killing this thing anytime soon. So let's keep let's keep looking. We want we want a good start where we can just start looting resources. Unfortunately, it's so far so not good. We might actually want to go back to world one. Oh well, here's a little bit. But we might want to go back to world one and stuff like that just to just to actually start farming for resources, and not get attacked by crazy bear creatures. Yeah, okay, so that was a little bit of iron. Is this map explored? No, it's not. Okay. Not entirely sure why the previous one was as explored as it was, seeing as I hadn't even been to the world yet. Uh, but it does look like there's... The levels are generated kind of in chunks. Eh, it works. Okay, so we've got kind of like a random house. Looking. Oh, we got some coal. Ooh, that's a lot of coal. Do we need a lot of coal? Yeah, we do. Okay. But unfortunately, this episode is pretty much going to be me just mining and stuff like that. I say unfortunately. It doesn't matter too much. But it, it is one of those where it's like if you want to see me out fighting things or clearing dungeons and stuff like that. Not there yet. I need to, I need to pay the dues. Wait, what is this? This is coal, right? Yeah. So we're we just not getting any? We're not getting any coal from mining this. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Or maybe we are and just took a bit for it to process. Yeah, okay, so it's just not processing immediately. I was wondering about that. This is like now we're up to 30, 35. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna mine we're just gonna mine this out just for a second. It looks like oh, I absorb and get five. And then sometimes it drops five more. I, I don't actually understand how this game deals with resources, but I'm okay with that. 
Okay, so we're, we're just going to keep running, and the moment we get in a situation where, you know, we're going to die, I'm just going to port to the next world. I think we're on world 3. Now I'm probably going to build a home base in world 1, and go from there. Probably right in, right in spawn, seeing as this is a solo server. I don't think I'm going to be playing on any multiplayer servers for a while, just because it doesn't seem like uh, multi-support is that great, and also just... I mean, you can steal from other players. It just doesn't seem wildly worth it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep my, keep my distance from that sort of thing. I'm gonna see if I can poke Birdcatcher into picking this game up later tonight. So this this series might actually transition over to being a co-commentated series, or I guess a two a two player series, pretty fast. No idea. Other things of note, str uh, strategically here before I before I get into, I don't even know what I'm getting into. Other things of note strategically, I'm probably going to just sacrifice myself to get uh, food back. There's no leveling system in this game. So as far as I can tell, there's next to no reason to survive. Okay, so we've got the old man. We could murder him for his house again, but there's no really good reason for it. So let's just keep grabbing potatoes. I really wish uh, uh, clearing, like getting resources in this game wasn't so slow. Like if there's an animation or there was a tool, I'd be down with that. Unfortunately, it's mostly just like, well, you're gathering this thing. Hooray! Hey. Okay. So, we'll leave the old man uh, leave the old man behind. There's no experience, there's no loot. So, as far as I can tell, there's no meaning. Uh, it seems like just gathering crafting resources and then murdering is the right way to go. So, currently, we're just stealing his only food. I'm a monster. But I'm, uh, I'm a, a monster that's alive. I wonder if I could uh, actually blow some holes in his his house it, and if you'd notice you know so if like he could see me over the table that would be a fascinating thing to check I think he was moving towards me when I was on the other side of the door but still I want to say this is probably a good time to just go back that said we're not really getting that many different resources than we would be if we weren't in world one I just like the idea the idea of world one because it's a little bit more memorable also, probably best to just go back because, you know, they've got like three other resources. Well, not three other resources, three other worlds that I've yet to strip mine. To heck and back. Oh, we're we were just here. Okay, seeing as we were just here, that was world three. Let's go to world four. Oh, here we go. Usually this is a little bit more resource intensive. Could be wrong. Could absolutely be wrong. Weapon racks, meaningless. Ah, anvil. This is something we're looking for. I guess I passed by one earlier, but if you can rob one of these houses from anvils, mmm. Not sure what the spike traps are for. I really wish the mini map also was persistent. Or, you know, was actually like a little mini map in the corner. I could get, I could get a bunch of corn here. Interestingly enough, they're, they're not potatoes in this world, they're corn. Can't complain too much. But I'm just gonna strip, my, strip mine for food for the time being. Unfortunately, as far as I can tell, there's no sustainability in this game. So, what you see is what you get as far as food goes. But, luckily, there's also, like, no general risk-reward for dying. So, it's like, alright, well, let's just, uh, let's just die to get our health back. Let's die to get our food back. Yay! I assume at some point they'll patch that in. I really hope they, they, uh, manage to make it worth it, though. Should probably also look into getting some armor here. Are we... Do we just not have scores of resources? I mean, we could always just jump cut back to the impressions character and use him. Or the impressions server. It's seeming pretty tempting that those were worlds rife with resources. These are worlds rife with nothing. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Yeah, let's let's keep it with this character. Let's keep it fresh. And when bird when bird joins, we'll just be on this one. I did name it Fork anyway. That that seems very apropos given the given the game, given the kind of topic of the game, so on and so forth. But I will try and make sure that when I die, I die in a easy to get back to position. My my food is starting to go down. Luckily, starving this game is like starving in Minecraft, where you don't actually start taking damage. You don't. You just don't heal anymore. Wait, no, no. You actually can starve to death. You just go down to like one HP and then sit there. I think. Is it obvious I don't play a whole lot of Minecraft? Oh, hey. So apparently in the uh, the snow realms you get you get little chomper plants. Okay. Well, we're here to just collect as much iron as we can before immediately booking it 
actually uh, actually having a good weapon, and then going from there. I'm trying to think. I think we can temper a bow in retrospect. I should probably take a look at the crafting menu, see what I uh, see exactly what I can get. How much iron do we have? Twenty-two. It's not bad. Could be better. Okay, come on, Ice World. Keep giving keep giving me that sweet sweet bounty. Speaking of, so far so good actually. More iron. Trying to think. Gold isn't that useful. Really, we need more re rare resources later on, like ice crystals and stuff like that, to really get what we need. Oh, that just gave me stone. What an insult. Watch this, watch this not actually be iron. I don't know. I do hope that they add pickaxes to this game. Usually, I'm kind of like anti-pickaxes, or like kind of the pickaxe treadmill. And I, I guess I just feel like, in this case, the sheer lack of it kind of ruins the immersion. It, at least in uh, Starbound, you can you can kind of point the matter manipulator and be like, all right, I want to collect this. This is just like you click on it, it turns purple, and bada bing, bada boom, there you go. You got you got your stuff. Do I go for the gold? Is it really worth it? I'll go for this gold. At some point, going for the gold is probably worth it. That's more coal. I'm really not keen on coal. Oh, shoot, we've got friends. All right. Escape. Oh, we're in world five. All right, to six. Huh. It's, all, it's mostly ice planets. Interestingly enough. I'm kind of curious about how, how all of this is going to pan out. Like, as far as, like, world gen goes, like, do you hit upper limits? Can you eventually get stuck? I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed that your resources don't go with you, but then again, I guess that makes sense, so you can't just, like, go straight to a PvP server and roll it. It also does look like each biome, like, each world doesn't have its own difficulty setting, it's just each biome has its difficulty set setting. Or just difficult units, not entirely sure on that one. Huh. Interesting question. Well, let's keep gathering as much iron as possible, and then we'll head back. We'll head back for. Uh, we'll head back for world one, or world zero actually. And we'll make a base and make some armor. Hopefully, I'll actually be able to make some armor here. I've got like thirty, close to thirty iron, and I'd love, I'd love to be able to. Yeah, that's reachable. I'd love to be able to actually have some clothes here, because currently I'm running around as a weirdo caveman. And I'd very much like to, I don't know, not be a weirdo caveman. Wait, was that, was that iron on the other side? No. Okay. Just a constant treadmill of resources. Eh, is life. At least there's no, uh, there's no durability system in this game. This game would suck with the durability system. I would probably have been very angry about it. Oh, hello. We have friends. Luckily, skeletons are ultimately very kiteable. Annoyingly enough, the skeleton archer is a little bit jumpy in the beginning, but it's not so bad. Okay. I'm also testing to see if starvation actually kills you in this game, or if, or if it's just the sheer lack of healing, which we can deal with, because then I can just kind of pick my battles and die where I want to. Okay. So we've got, like, graveyard time. Oh, shoot, that's a skeleton captain. Let's stay well enough away from him. I can maybe kite him, but I don't... Oh, hello. But I don't really want to deal with it. Okay, does that... Nope. We're going to have to dig our way in. We're going to have to deal with this schmuck. Can I have a sword? Can I have either of these guys' a sword? Like, droppable loot and experience in this game would actually be really cool. Like, I'd love for a talent tree system. Seeing as this game actually feels kind of like Diablo. Ow! Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a pair of skeleton captains. Go figure I'm getting smacked around. Yeah, I am starving to death. Well, it's just not for a second. Oh, boy. I want those resources, but I think we're doomed here. How much health do you even have? I don't know. Okay, there's one. So he actually dropped loot. Okay, so droppable loot is a thing. It's just very uncommon. Okay, let's just keep scoop scooting away. Let's grab this ring. And let's go to world one. Wor world zero. We can go back for those resources later. Ooh, speaking of resources, let's grab this stuff. And we should actually be able to start making our house here. And I'm just going to go for the generic and then plunk it down right where spawn is. Seeing as every time you die, you go back to spawn. Every time you load into the server, you go back to spawn. It doesn't really seem that, that uh, useful for me to actually try and put it in a remote location. Just seems like a waste of time, ultimately. Okay. 
So, uh, it does look like you can starve to death. I ate one steak just so I could have a chance at killing those guys so I could get to the resources. But since we were directly next to a, zon uh, a skeleton spawn point, it was not a good plan. Okay, so let's see what we got. Yeah, the map is extremely explored here. Weird. Okay. So why don't why don't I just start? Yeah, I'll just start to death over here. Let's just put the ring on. I don't actually know if the basic ring actually matters. Okay, we are actually taking we are actually taking damage. So we've we've got an anvil. We can make tables. That's not useful. Okay. So that's the basics. Oh. I'm quite dead. And I did actually drop the uh, crafting bench. Well, that was easy enough. Okay, so let's start by... Hmm. Let's actually put them over on... Yeah, you know what? This can be, this can be a door in. So let's... Let's start by just putting stuff kind of in the middle here and around the outside. And I don't I don't like putting it on kind of the lower edge just because it's harder harder for me to see. Okay, why? Okay, there we go. I probably put the furnace the wrong direction again. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. And let's grab that anvil. How much iron do we have? 52. Oh, we are making stuff tonight. Can I can I really not put them together? Okay, that is strange. Well, I guess I'll put it there. I have no idea why why they didn't want to cooperate on that one. I, I believe I can move them too, which is uh, which is actually really useful. Okay, so let's let's make us a bunch of gold, not as much as I want. So oh, it's a two for one. Shoot, I have way less iron than I thought I did. Okay. Well, first and foremost, let's head on over to the let's head on over the anvil. We got we've got a tempered iron sword. That's practically the most important. What the? Huh? It didn't cost me my previous sword. Bizarre. Okay. Well, I've got I've got just my generic iron sword for the time being. We we could make a bow. That's not a terrible idea. Oh, Firestone bow, Ice Stone. Can I just get like a generic upgraded bow? No. Looks like there's some pretty top bows if you get to the very end. Same thing with the swords. Whew. Okay, so we got bow, yeah, ice bow. Okay. Nothing I can do on that side of things. Uh, let's see. Rings, flooring, traps, armor. Here we go. Ten iron plates for iron armor. Iron plates and iron helm. Two iron plates. Okay, so it looks like we can get, at the very least... Some basic equipment here. And then we'll have to look into other stuff. There's like a fur helmet, a bear helmet, stuff like that. Okay. But we want we want plates. Plates, plates, plates. Here we go. Four iron to make one iron plate. Holy deuces. Alright, getting armor is gonna take a take some effort. We've got a bow, I might as well hold on to that. We don't need boxes, we don't wood castle walls, wood door. Door might not be a bad idea, but I don't feel particularly threatened here. Stone flooring, traps, armor. Here we go. Iron helm. Iron, iron helm? Perfect. Okay. So now I've got a hat. Eh, it's good enough. Okay. And lastly, can I make a chest? Probably not. Make a pile of books. Wooden barrel, chopping block, banner flag. Cellar doors, but I don't actually know if you can go down the cellar. That'd be cool if you could actually, like, open up a cellar and go places, but not betting on it here. Okay, wood, wood, oh, I can make a wooden chest. Perfect. Okay, we got a little, little chesty chest here. So, can I, can I shift click, can I control click? Nope, there's no way of clicking them over. Oh. Oh, okay, good. They show back up. I was, I was more than a little concerned. So let's let's take our more r rare resources and throw them in here. We don't need that. We've only got one flare. Well, that's... I'd say it's disturbing, but it's really not. Okay. So, off we go. Let's go exploring. And we might as well... Actually, you know what? Let's leave that closed for the time being. I don't know if monsters are ever going to wander in here. Probably not. Oh, right. We're... we're 
That's not an entrance either. This is. Okay, so I see coal over here. I see wood. None of them are particularly useful. I'm, I think I'm just gonna hang ten along the side. Well, let's just let's just use our newly OP sword. There we go. Don't know what bow uh, bows do yet. Kind of looking forward to that one. Oh, and that grub did not want to die. Oh, then again, my character didn't want to kill the grub. So I guess I guess that's the that's the uh, main consideration. My character is just being useless. Let's see. I don't want to loop around too much. Whoa! Why is this map so explored? I truly do not think I wandered around that much. Oh well, let's see. So I've got enough damage that I can take down skeleton captains at this point. I've got a little bit of armor, so I shouldn't have to worry about it too hard. I got a lot of potatoes, so if I actually feel like uh, getting back is going to be a problem, I can just start stuffing my face with them. Unless you can't eat raw potatoes, at which point I'm going to be sad. Now, there might be such a thing as sustainable farming in this game. I haven't figured that out yet. We might be able to plant potatoes, because I think we get multiple potatoes per potato patch. So if I plant one potato, I might get five potato. I just have to wait for it to go. Hello, iron. We are looking for you. Especially because we need... We need... Okay, so we need 10 iron plates, which is 40 iron bars. Which is, We need 80 of this stuff uh, to get... To get just a simple suit of armor. That's pretty absurd. I'm not entirely sure if the uh, developers thought that went through considering how much iron is needed just to be able to outfit yourself with the basic stuff. That said, oh well. I mean, at this point I've already got the the damage that I need. Maybe we'll come across something cool in the meantime. So I, I guess that is kind of the point here. Okay. Let's just cut through these guys. Oh, and get the iron. Let's see. Eh, you know what? I guess I'm getting I'm getting equivalently one iron bar per one of these. So I guess we're already a quarter of the way to a suit of armor. That's that's not so bad in retrospect. It's still just moderately painful. Just to think about is it. like just the sheer amount of resources that you get need to get. I this is eh, you know what? By the time we have the rare resources, we're probably going to be rife in this stuff anyway, because we're gonna go buy so much of it as as we wander. Cause I mean, I got, I got 28. Yeah, find a couple more veins like that and we're going to have no problems. I'd like to figure out how to make a cannon at some point. I heard good things about cannons. We might actually be next to a dungeon. I would love to raid one of those. No, it just looks like it's a generic graveyard. The kind that doesn't have anything in it. Darn. Alright, so, uh, ooh, 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 that's my house. Damn it. Alright, fine. <laughs> I was like, yes! Found some resources. Found something cool. Might have something in it. Oh. Oh, that's home. Well, that's kind of nice. Okay, god, I really hope they actually patch it in so you can hold left click to attack. Because, like, for a game like this, having to click repeatedly, I mean, sure, fine, it, wor it works in, uh, it works in the Diablo games just because you need to click to move, you need to click left and right to do pretty much anything. This, not so much, though. Ooh, meat, meat, and iron. Mmm. Whoa. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so, unfortunately, it seems like a lot of, <laughs> a lot of those Let's Play, especially in the beginning, is just going to be Wanderbot goes out to get iron. But I guess that's kind of what paying your dues is. And then anything thereafter is effectively going to get funneled probably into bird. Not entirely sure. I wonder if people will be able to join me or not. Oh, I might have to start over all over if I get into multiplayer. Well, this might just be my single player character for the time being. Uh, owing to the fact that... Uh, I don't know if I set a password for this one. I don't know how to change service settings. Maybe there's an INI file or something like, like that that I could change. Because I would hate it to, you know, open up the ports. And then suddenly get, you know, a full server just because I'm one of the only uh, hosted servers out there. That would be sad. I would not like that. Okay. And, uh, well, do not forget about the iron. We've got 50. We might actually, at the end of the, at the at the end of this node, we might actually be able to go back and make us some basic plate. At which point, I want to go dungeon hunting. Really wish you could, like, scroll on them. Oh, man, if you could scroll notes on the map, that would be amazing. I'd love that. It'd be like, like, you know, don't go here, death awaits, or go here is loot. But then again, it's not like this game randomly generates new loot every time you log in or anything like that, so... Ultimately, I might end up uh, kind of wiping the world repeatedly here. Like, this this might be a regular occasion. I might end up kind of skipping episode one in the future, unless I'm doing it multiplayer, where, you know, the basic gathering resources and stuff like that. 
just because I can imagine by the by the second or third character server wipe that they do, uh, we're going to have kind of a kind of a sad bot here with the whole well. Welcome back to going out and finding more iron. But then again, so far we don't have to worry about that, so I'm not I'm not going to think about it too hard. Let's keep getting gold. I'm not sure where we get like the ice stone or the fire stone or anything like that. I'm gonna assume dungeons. But let's see, so we've got an area over there. Eh, I don't see any basic resources. Oh, yep, I do. And we get stuck in the level. Yep. Okay, time to dig through. I don't know. I would love I would love uh, a pickaxe that actually like just churns through the basic siding really fast. That'd be nice. Yeah, we'll have to figure out how to get the like rarer equipment as we go along here. There's got to be stuff. Also, speaking of, ooh, ooh, look at all this stuff. I'm really impressed with the the overall like modeling on this game. I mean, yes, it's 3D mo uh, 3D minimalism, but that's exactly what I'm looking for. Like my helmet looks kind of cool. I, I'm probably going to go out of my way to go kill some bears soon, just so I can get my hands on, um, just so I can get my hands on the, the beard helm. I don't actually know if it's any better or worse than what I already have, but at the same time, it would be great to be a giant bearded barbarian man. I'm also looking forward to not having a lung cloth anymore. Oh yeah, we're going to have more than enough iron by the time we're done with this, this note, and then we can have some gold. Might actually be able to make some rings. Not actually sure if there's really a reason for it, but hey, who knows? Okay, so let, let's let's theory craft here. Let, let's think of up things that this game could and should have. I think first and foremost, I think respawning stuff or like a changing environment would be kind of nice. I'm not sure how they would do that. Maybe just being able to put down like fast travel markers and continually exploring out in the world. I think what would actually really uh, really help the game out is if you could actually dig up and down. You know, you could go up effectively a z-axis as far as the game is concerned. Because I feel like I'm getting kind of to the outlands here. Nope, there's there's still zones over there. Uh, so, like, I don't know how big these maps are. Considering how high my frame rate is, I assume I'm nowhere even close, or it just randomly generates as I go along. Could be one of either. Uh, could be both. Don't know. Uh, but I'd much rather it... Uh, be semi-finite just so it's like you don't get like totally lost and have to wait to die uh, also you cannot zoom out on the mini map meaning you know you get lost you're you stay lost unless you can really find your way back but i mean the, the mini map is not exactly the most indicative thing so like right now i only have a vague idea of how to get back home luckily it's a little bit it's it's pretty easy to figure out uh but i can imagine once i've exhausted most of the base resources around here it's going to take me a long time to get back now let's see, what else would be cool? They said they're adding a female model, and eventually they're going to consider more uh, customization. Currently it's just skin color and that little moat thing following me around that's light. I actually think it would be really cool if you could get upgrades for your moat. Like a uh, Fantasy Star Online style, so you could get like a, a, like a little dragon moat that like shoots fireballs at stuff for you. That would be, that would be cool. I would, I would enjoy having, you know, little buddy dragon to shoot things for me. Okay, let's grab this potato while we're here. Unfortunately, you cannot grab stuff via diagonal. You can only grab, well, you can grab stuff via diagonal, but uh, I couldn't grab that potato there until I cleared the way. Got a lot of potatoes. You know what? Let's uh, let's see if we can actually just nom some potatoes along the way here. So four. Nope. Oh, I, I plant them. Fascinating. Okay. Still don't know how to equip, equip equipment, weapons and stuff like that. E, space, one, two. What if I right click it? What if I double click it? Nope. Okay. So we got coal. I guess I'll just eat some steaks. Eventually I'll figure out where to get meat more reliably, but it looks like it can make a potato farm. Let's go back and see if we can cook some potatoes. And if I can't cook potatoes, then I'm concerned, but it does look like food sustainability is actually fairly base, uh, fairly available in this game, which is good. Okay, I've also got bones. Don't know what they do. Oh no, that's a friend. Okay, how do I how do I cook potato? How do I get noms? Oh, here we go. Ooh, cooked potato, grilled corn, bat bait, bat bait. Interesting. So let's get let's not cook all of our potatoes. 
just cook a bunch. Because if I can have like a sustainable little farm, that's exactly what we need. Okay, Let's see. It looks like potatoes are fairly good food. So let's potato one, potato two, potato three. Yeah. All right, sustainable food has been effectively achieved already. That's good. I hate it in games where it's like you have to jump through all of these hoops to have sustainable farming. So let's just line our entire compound with potatoes. One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato. Uh, snore. Can I can I cook corn? Net? Can I plant corn? It looks like I can plant corn, so I I can actually introduce crops that are outside of this biome to this area. I'm hoping it doesn't die. Okay. So we've got farming going. Uh, let's just let's just keep ringing this place with food. That way, by the time I come back, hopefully it's fully grown. Okay, next up, let's make some armor. Okay, for a second I thought it said somebody... Oh, potato wedges. I wonder what the difference is. Kind of wish it would tell you. It does not say. Oh, well. So we've got potato wedges. We've got flares. Flares, luckily, are kind of cheap. We've got stew. Oh, interesting. So each one of these probably results in, like, different... Oh, mead. I can make booze. I'm actually pretty okay with that. Okay. So... I really wish you could hold, like, oh, oh, I don't have any coal. Oh, hmm, that's inconvenient. Oh, wait. I can make a fair amount, though. Not as much. I am going to have to go cut down some trees. Well, this is unintended problems. Okay, fine. <laughs> Be that way, game. Then again, I really have not been chopping down a whole lot of trees as I go by, so I guess this is ultimately my fault. Oh, yeah, let's see if the potato wedges are more filling. They are. So, it's better to have potato wedges than a cooked potato, I think. So, why why even have the cooked potato? Unless maybe potato wedges aren't actually any more filling one way or another. Oh, you can d walk directly on your farm plots. Ooh, okay. Well, that, this is going to get messy. Actually, speaking of coal, let's just dig out the local coal mine. It's perfect. Because if I can get... Presumably, there we go, we're getting some. If I can get presumably, like, I need, like, one coal for every bar. Wow. Okay. In retrospect, wood might actually be the resource that we run out of fastest. Because we need wood for practically everything. Anywhere from, you know, basic crafting so we have coal to, uh, to otherwise. I almost kind of wish you just needed to put, to, like, stoke the fire with a certain amount of wood. I guess that makes sense. But kind of Minecraft style where... It's got, like, a slightly more efficient conversion rate. Unless there's a more efficient, uh, furnace. That would also make sense. But, yeah, so I was talking about moat customization. This guy following us around has a little dice, uh, dice thing. So that's what his moat looks like. And, I mean, ultimately, he's an NPC. We can't murder him for it. But I really want to. I want a little dice thing. Which probably means it's a reward for a dungeon if we go looking hard enough. Which I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with. So let's see. We've got another... We've got more coal. Luckily, uh, it's actually a fairly available resource. So originally, I was like, eh, who cares about coal? You don't need it that much. Oh, you need it badly. You need it more than anything else in this game. Okay. Doesn't look like we're getting as much coal as we were the last time around, though. I think it might have been kind of buggy. Probably. Either way, could be worse. Unless... What if I'm, like, far away from it? Uh, hmm. I feel like there's supposed to be, like, a way of cheesing this, but I don't think so. Okay, let's just pick up... Let's just grab the last of the coal, and then we'll go back. Because I can totally make, uh... I can totally make... Yes, yeah, I want to say that one gave me ten. Not sure how. I want to make some, uh, jewelry, too. I don't actually know if, like, getting a basic gold ring is even remotely useful, but, uh, I can do it. Okay. Iron ore make us some basic armor? I don't know. I'm actually hoping they add more character slots and actually more, like, uh, equipment types. I think it would actually be really cool if you could get, I don't know, like, uh, like, pauldrons and stuff like that, too. You know, so you look different every single time. Uh, more customization, especially for a game where, you know, you're gonna be stuck with this character for a while. Okay, let's take a look at armor. Armor. Arm ar armor? Armor. That's a trap. Here we go. So we need 10 iron plates. Do we need anything else? Some paladin armor. 
No, we gotta go otherwise. Okay, so actually if we got like 10 more on top of it, we could upgrade our, our basic helm. That's a paladin helm, that's a bear helm. Heavy iron helm, where's the heavy iron helm? There we go. Ooh, okay, yeah, we need a lot of iron plates. So I guess I'm going to be gathering iron till the end of time, as far as this playthrough goes. All right, well, let's see, I got 15. That means just basic suit of armor, nothing more. Eh, could be worse. Oh, right, we need to be at the anvil. Duh. Okay. So now I am... I have pants! I got a breastplate and I got pants. I don't pretend to understand, but that's okay. Okay, lastly, before we go for the day, because I, I think this is getting pretty close to a stopping point, I'm going to do two things. Oh, whoa, we could uh, totally beautify some stuff as we go along. We can make a stone throne. Huh. All right, what is this thing? Standing torch. Oh, I just need more torches. Eh. Okay, so we can make a well. Yeah, I'd say I'd love to be able to make cellar doors to actually go up and down, but I don't even know. What is this? Wood chopping block. Neat. Grave, doormat, gram gramophone's kind of weird. Now, what we're looking for is the... Oh, wait. We were we were just actually looking at it. What do we need? Gold and the workbench. Let's make a jeweler's table. All right. Let's see if this, this thing's any good. I haven't actually looked into jewelry making, so I actually have no idea if this is even remotely worth my time, but... Okay, we can make a basic ring. Which we already have. Okay, so now we, now we need to go get some firestone, some ice stone, some shocking stone, or some obsidian. I don't know where to get any of these things, but you know what? I'm actually fully equipped, so let's let's make a game plan here. We've got an iron helm. We need we need how much more iron do we need? Okay, let's let's just crunch the math here. So we need ten iron plates. So eighty. Uh, but we already have half, so we need forty. And then if we want to make the centurion helm. We need, okay, so we need 120 iron from here. Do we need anything else? I mean, I can pretty much just keep expanding it. Just iron, 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 iron. Add infinitum, because, you know, from there, then it's just cloth and gold. Yeah, so we, we could actually keep expanding this pretty fast, pretty hard. I'll have to figure out where, where to get iron. But, you know what, 150 iron next. Let's take a look at uh, weapons for a second. I'm not sure why the armor and the weapons aren't currently matched with each other. All right, so we've got a bow. We need to figure out where to get ice stones, fire stones, shocking stones. Because we're not going to be able to make any of the uh, fancy swords with this, and we're definitely not going to be able to make any of the fancy bows. Okay, so how do we how do we make the alchemy table? Because I'll put that pretty high on the list. Alchemy table requires obsidian. Microbrewery requires copper. Haven't found copper yet. Okay, so we've got a lot of resources. I think next episode, I'm just going to be looking around. I might actually do some looking around and start once I found stuff. Oh, hey, my farms are actually marked on the map. That's cool. I wonder if any of the uh, resources are. <clears throat> it looks like some of them might be here. I'm going to go inspect this before we, before we leave. This might actually be kind of handy. Is that... Okay, so that's a tree. So, yeah, wow, resources might actually just be flat out marked on the map. That's, that could be actually really useful for marking the map in other ways. Yeah, so that's coal. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it, it uh, identifies, you know, which resources are which, but you know what, whatever. Okay, so next episode, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to go looking for more, more resources. I might do that off camera, but I'll definitely go looking for a dungeon. So I want to I wanna go see if I can get me some, some of the fancier stuff. Might go looking until I find one of the basic ones and then go from there once I know what I'm looking for. Can I not hit this guy? There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next episode of Orlight. And as always, thanks for watching.